chicos y chicas, I am Ricardo Laguna and welcome back to my channel as today I am going to talk about why I think right now is the worst time to buy real estate. Once again guys, thank you so much for sharing your valuable time to watch this YouTube video and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe as I aim to have new episodes every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays and it will mean the world if you guys hit that like button because by you guys hitting that like button, it will help this YouTube video to get out there so that more people can learn from it. And now that we got that out of the way, I want to tell you why I think today's market is a terrible time for you guys to purchase some real estate. And I need to start with step number one before you go out there looking for any properties. And that is get pre-approved for a loan. And guys, it's not 2008 anymore because back then we had a lot of bad loans where you needed basically zero information, zero paperwork, and you were pre-approved. To get out there to go and purchase some homes. On today's market for 2021, most loan officers are gonna require a lot of information and as well you need to bring a lot of paperwork. And of your license and registration. That if you can't deliver that, that will not get you pre-approved to get out there and start looking at homes. The other option that we are having is the unemployment rate is higher than where we want it to be. If you are one of those guys that don't have a job, your chances to get a loan are slim to none. Now, that doesn't mean that you are out of the woods because if you have a lot of dinero in your bank, <laughs> that would allow you to go out there and purchase some home. Now that's another issue that we're having right now. A lot of low inventory, high demand, and people with cash is driving the prices into real estate to new records. And by having the new record prices in homes, that means that most houses are overpriced and a lot, a lot of you guys keep talking about that there's gonna be a bubble and it's gonna make the whole real estate tank in prices. So we're just gonna go with a hypothetically story. <sighs> hypothetically. If you purchase your home at a high value price, and I personally think there's not going to be a big bubble, I think there's going to be a correction. Now I don't care who you talk to, there's no one out there that has a crystal ball that's going to be able to tell you when that's going to happen. I will now consult the crystal ball to see your future. But we're just going to go hypothetically. You purchase a home at a really high price, a correction happened, like that we think is gonna happen in a couple years, is my prediction, then you're gonna be underwater, and if there's a big bubble, and the prices plummet in the real estate, you're gonna be underwater for a very long time, which means that you will not be able to refinance nor sell. Of course, you're able to refinance and sell, but there's a high chance that you guys are gonna have to come out of pocket for you to make that deal happen. That's why I think if the economy tanks and you guys purchase a home at such a high price, right now is a terrible time for you guys to purchase some real estate. But that's just my honest opinion. That's my opinion! A YouTuber that just gave you feedback and there's always two sides of the coin. And the reason why I bring that to the table is because not too long ago I made a video why things a perfect time to purchase real estate. So you have to figure out how your financials are. If you are in this scenario that it's a bad time for you guys to purchase some real estate, or if you're in good shape to start buying some land, whether if it's good or a bad deal, you can afford it and make it happen to be in a good decision to purchase some real estate. So that said guys, please let's connect on my social. If you guys have any questions, my email is below. Send me an email, I would love to chat to hopefully give you the best advice that I have. Ricardo Laguna, can't thank you enough. I hope to see you in the next episode.